Hi there, I'm Charlie Smith. I'm editor of the Georgia Strait, and I'm back for another week of Georgia Strait Talks. This week, the spotlight is on Vancouver City politics, and for good reason. There was a bit of an explosion at City Hall, and that happened when three city councillors decided to bolt their party and sit as an independent group. They are Colleen Hardwick, Sarah Kirby Young, and Lisa Dominato, all elected with the NPA in 2018. They were in the third year of, of a four-year term, and the trigger for this was the party board. The board of directors chose a mayoral candidate for 2022 named John Cooper. John Cooper is a longtime uh, park commissioner, and he uh, sought the mayoral nomination in 2018, losing to Ken Sim. And in 2021, this month, the board just decided John Cooper was going to be the mayoral candidate. Well, this didn't sit well. Uh, the three women who left the caucus said they were blindsided. There's one who's remained, uh, Melissa Di Genova. And they also said that this was kind of the ultimate old boys club decision. But one area where they were raising concerns um, may not look so good in retrospect, and that's their complaints about transparency. They said the NPA board had no transparency. Well, that that's true. But the flip side is they benefited from the lack of transparency in 2018 because the board back then met in secret and chose its council candidates. And three of the ones who were chosen in this secret process were none other than Sarah Kirby Young, Lisa Dominato, and Colleen Hardwick. And Sarah Kirby Young is particularly interesting because at the time her husband was on the board of the NPA when she was selected as a candidate and many others were not selected. One of those was Rob McDowell who had run in in 2014. Another was Ken Lowe who had run in 2014. Each received more than 53,000 votes when they ran for the NPA in 2014, but they weren't allowed to run in 2018 to make room for the others. So as things stand now, you've got another party forming called A Better City, which is center-right, and Ken Sim, who ran for the NPA in 2018, is positioning himself to try to be the mayoral nominee for the party, which will choose its candidate later this year. And then in the spring, it's going to follow up by choosing its council candidates. In the meantime, another um, person has stepped forward who wants to run for mayor named Mark Marison. He's a federal liberal who was very close to Paul Martin when he was prime minister and finance minister. And at this point, uh, Mark Marison doesn't have any council candidates running with him. I can imagine that he's probably looking at this situation and saying, can I recruit any of them? Uh, perhaps Lisa Dominato, um, Sarah Kirby Young. Um, I don't think Mark Marison would want to recruit Colleen Hardwick because Marison is uh, very much in favor of densifying neighborhoods around the city and Colleen Hardwick has probably been the most foremost person on council opposing densifying single-family neighborhoods. So the Vancouver mayoral race is already underway, uh, 18 months before voters will go go to the polls, and, and it raises questions whether the candidates are going to have the stamina to, to keep this thing up because you have to get volunteers involved, you have to raise money, and if you're running 18 months before, before the election happens, um, it's going to be a challenge, I think, for the candidates uh, to keep the public engaged for that length of time. This is the first time in Vancouver history that the mayoral race may last as long as the U.S. presidential race, but I guess that's what happens in politics in the 21st century. So for the Georgia Strait, I'm Charlie Smith. Thanks for watching. You can check us out online at www.strait.com.